guys welcome you all to my channel so for today i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut continuous side peplum okay now this is the form of a flunt but the difference between this is it comes in form of a layers so this video is actually going to be self-explanatory and very very easy so what are the equipments required we need a tape measure a chalk pair of scissors and of course your piece of fabric now having done that the next thing you have to do now is to determine like the middle point of your fabric so you can go ahead and mark the middle point of your fabric which i identify as this point so once you've marked this middle point on your fabric you pick up any shape you have at home that gives you a round shape so you place it at that middle point and then you connect your circle like you just want to have a perfect shape of circle so this is what i have you can use any shape any size but make sure it's big enough okay and you have your accurate circle so once you've done that the next thing you have to do is to determine how many steps do you want your continuous flows to fall so let's say we want about three steps so the first thing you have to do now is to mark your first layer so my first layer i'm going to make is of one and a half inches so i will mark one and a half inches place your one and a half inches at this circle point so you mark one and a half inches one and a half inches one and a half inches so once you are done you connect your one and a half inches together now the next thing you also have to determine is at what point of your circle do you want to start from so you can use any point on your circle so i'm going to use this upper side so i just connect my one and half inches all the way down so from this point where i identified as my start point i'm going to take the next measurement which is three inches note that it actually depends on you and what you want to achieve so i mark three inches all the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel please kindly do so click on the bell beside it so you can get notifications on when a video comes up so from this starting point you extend it this way you connect your circles this is our three inches making sure you connect it all together so from this point now you mark your next one so mine is five inches or let me use five and a half so i mark five and a half inches 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 so this gives you like a form of steps and it's actually very beautiful so you go ahead and connect this to your five and half inches so i mark my five and half inches this way so i go ahead and connect this together connect it to my five and half inches so yours could be as many as you can you can also increase it so you are going to have like a continuous circle that is just what we want to achieve so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out so while i'm cutting this out i'm going to pass it across some certain information to you all so you can join us on facebook sewing is fun by tv designs what we do is we discuss about fashion related topics so the details are down at the description bar drop questions topics you want us to treat next in our next video at the comment section and we are going to do just that so we just cut this out so you are going to have like a continuous form of circle but i don't want to show you guys how to end this point okay So by the time you are cutting it you are going to fall back at your 
initial um first circle so you just cut that away you go ahead and cut that away so that will serve as your first layer of your circle so this is what we have okay this is what we have basically so you are going to have like a very long piece but one thing you will discover about this piece is it increases the more it gets um, to the tip because of course from our measurements we took various ones so why you want to fold it you start from the largest measurement so this is our largest measurement we use about five inches so you fold it this way into two okay let me use the front block so you guys can see the beauty clearly so you fold it this way into two fold it this way so you fold the next one on it so you can see that the next one is shorter okay so this is where we have our five inches so you fold the next one so you fold it this way So you guys, can you see what you have? So you have this layer, which is actually longer. Then you have, this is our five inches layers we use at the initial, um, at the last step. These are five inches, these are three inches, and this is what we have for our one inch. So this is what you have, and you just attach it. Of course, this is the back, so you fold yours correctly. So you just attach it this way to the side of, your dress and it gives you the form of a continuous um peplum or flaunt so so that is the first way to fold this if you are folding everything equally at this edge and you also want to achieve your step your steps so another way or another style to fold it is aside it's getting longer by the length it can also reduce it by the size so you have your five inches folded this way and so the next one which is our three inches stops somewhere here so you're leaving about one inch or two inches depends on what you want so when you want to fold the next one it reduces this way it reduces this way and then when you want to fold the other one, it's, it's like, you just want to achieve like steps, steps, flaunts, okay? So this is what, this is another way to achieve your flaunts. So this method now, or this type of dress, you also attach it to the side of your dress. And you can see that in this case, aside the fact that it reduces like layers by layers, it also has steps. So the steps also increases. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Join us for trainings. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.